Hey, welcome to this old shop. I want to do a quick video about uh, the types of pressure gauge errors. There's basically four types of them. So, when you're count calibrating a pressure gauge, you have zero, span, linearity, and friction are the four errors that could potentially uh, need adjustment or reject the gauge. So, span is when going from 0% to 100% the air increases as you go up the span so 0 to 100 psi gauge you could be off at 20% you're off 1 psi 50% you're off 2 75 you're off 3 etc etc 0 is when sorry I'm looking around I'm, I'm about to pull out here 0 is when you uh, when the air is the same no matter where on the span. So at 20 psi, you're you're one psi psi off. At 100 psi, you're one psi off. So it's the same. Linearity has to do with the midpoint in the sector of the pressure gauge. Well, I'm, again, I'm just talking about normal board on tube pressure gauges for the most part. There's always slight exceptions. So only certain gauges allow you to adjust the linearity if the midpoint's off. So I'm just going to leave it at that. That one's that's that. <laughs> and friction error is has to do with the wrap, R-A-P, when you tap the gauge, um, the error. So if you go to, you pump up your gauge to 50 PSI, and then it's reading 49, and you, you tap on it, tap, 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 and it goes to 50, that'd be a friction error of 1 PSI, right? So the friction error should not be more than the stated manufacturer's accuracy. So sometimes you'll get one, which, when you really see a bad one, you'll take it up, and when you're slowly taking it back down the pressure gauge in her chest, you'll see it kind of stop and maybe hit, or it'll stop and your pressure went to zero, but your gauge is still reading 25%. So, so that's it. I'm going to be posting a new video soon on this on-site boiler plan I just about completed. So thanks for watching. Make sure you comment, and uh, I'll get back to you. Thanks.